This is code.org, and that's what they have. This is what we have. Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's see. Changing course. Study the animation to the right. Notice the purple alien sprite changes between X and Y velocities. Yeah, so when it's going up or down, that's a Y velocity. Right or left is an X. When it's near each corner of the screen. Yep, I do notice that. Run the program to understand how, what it does so far, we saw. Add the dot velocity x and dot velocity y blocks to each conditional. And remember, conditional means if statement because you're checking a condition to make the alien complete the circle circuit. Be careful. Sprite starts moving diagonally. If the sprite starts moving diagonally, it might mean it has both an x and a y velocity. Yeah. So if we give something a speed to the right and the left at the same time, well, what would happen? If you try to walk forward and right at the same time, your body is going to be moving diagonally. And so that's what would happen to the sprite. All right. In the first corner, the alien needs to stop moving up and start moving to the right. All right. Let's tackle this one step at a time. So the first corner is up here. All right. Now I can hit reset. I can show my grid. I can also look at the numbers that are going to appear here and near my mouse. All right. So when my alien is up here, it's towards the top of the screen. What's the top of the screen? Well, it looks like at the top of the screen here, it would be 0y and 0x. So let's look for either 0y, 0x. That's not here. Okay. Well, what about less than something? So we know we're at the top. How about less than 50x? Less than 50, here's less than 50y. Here's less than 50x. Hmm. Well, if we're traveling upwards, we're already going to be less than 50x the whole time we're here. So it's not going to be that one. That would be for this movement when we suddenly become less than 50x, when we cross over this point. The point where we want to cross over, I believe, would be this right here, 50y, because smack. That's how we'll know if we're less than 50y, we are up here, right? If we're greater than 350x, we're definitely not up here. If we are less than 50x, we could be anywhere between here and here right then, right? Whereas the second we get less to 50y after we start running, we know we're up here. So what do we want to do when we're up here? We want to start moving that way, right? So look at my x value. It is 23 right now, 400. So we want to add to x. So let me grab this and keep in mind, our, we don't have a sprite, right? We, they, they named it alien velocity and we'll say three because they were doing negative three here and this is just like saying alien dot x equals alien dot x plus three every time the draw loop runs it just sets it though every time it runs it adds three to where the alien's location is we then update and add three more it's like a flip book and it gives us the illusion of movement because every time the alien moves three pixels over let's see if this part works less than 50 boom uh-oh we didn't listen to their warning yet. So we need to set what? The at, uh, the Y speed, right? We're not going to go up anymore. Once we hit this, we just want to go right over. So I'm going to do the Y velocity to zero. We're going to tell the computer, stop going that way. Now, how about once we're over here? How would we know? Well, let's see. Zoop. Oh, look, what happens? When I go over here, how do I know I'm in the corner? X becomes greater than 350. What's the next one here? And... So, and be careful not grabbing sprite x or sprite y. I'm doing sprite velocity. So what are we going to want to change when we're in this corner? If we have to go to the next corner, we got to go zoop, down. So down is not right or left. So I definitely need my x speed, my x velocity to equal zero. Okay. Now, what would I want my y to be? Well, if I'm up here, watch my y. I'm at 13 y right now. Zoop, it goes down. So what would you want to do if this was using a uh, the counter pattern? If we were doing alien dot y equals alien dot y, we would want to subtract, right? Or I mean, we would want to add. Add is uh, y is increasing. It's kind of weird. Zero y is way up here. Four hundred y is way down here. So if we add to y, we would go down. And same thing's true for the velocity. It's, it's like the counter pattern. We're going to add to y, and I'm going to say add three, and set the other one to zero. Now, what if it's greater than 350y? Well, we just said 400y is down here. So 350y is down here. So that must mean once we start going down, that's how we'll know we're in this corner. So velocity x, 
velocity y. Once we get to this corner, we don't want to go off the bottom of the screen, so we want to stop moving up and down by making our velocity for y zero, and to go to the left, we need to subtract from x. And now we just want to complete the circuit, and to complete it, we would want the same speeds as when we started, because we started heading this way. So how do we do that? Well, y is 370 right here, and what is it at the top? 40. So we would need to subtract from y, and we're no longer going left and right, so we zero out x. Oops, wait a minute. Just kidding here. We need this to be zero too, right? We're going to make them completely stop when they get to this corner, just like their animation does. Getting a little hasty. All right, let's try. Ta-da! We did it! Onward.